any need for that? Come on. Listen, you little shit. If I find out that you did it, you're finished. Do you hear me? as much as he thinks he does, really. Privacy. The lawyers are good in health. <laughs> Again, really? Well, I'm not that. Just look at you, best buddies. You make me sick. Come on, let's leave him. Let him have a few moments to himself. Oh, we're not finished yet. When I return, I want you to take that back and own up to your sins. You hear me, you fuck! Guys. Luke. Yes, my lord. Turn the heating up and to hell with the expense. is still the same. As I said before, and I'll say again, in the words of Matthew 21, 29, he answered and said, I will not. But then afterwards, he repented and went. I almost had the little boss. I've had enough of you repenting bastards. I was this close. Stubborn in your old age, aren't you? Will you just take it? <laughs> no. He's too... <clears throat> good. Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, spit it out, spit it out. I... I was... Unfortunately, I haven't got all day, so... So, what's your opinion? Stop the stammering for my sake. Go to your room. But, Dad! No buts. Just clean that mess up and go do it right now. Bless me. No fucking way! May I step in? It is not going to work. He is not.
What were? I was drunk and upset. I've repented, remember? From the day Rick repented. Rick has been a stand-up guy. From that day forth, he started a family, contributed to charities, got involved in the community, and he's never looked back. What do you think, Adolf? <laughs> Well, I'm not convinced. He's got a heart of gold, this kid. I highly doubt that. Do you recognise the young lady in the photograph? Can't tell. The picture's blurry. That's Sandra. The reason you went to prison for. How many other Sandras were there? Why do you just own up? You see, I suspect that you've killed others, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, this is getting nowhere. What do you suggest? A deal for you. Deal? What kind? You take him for six months, and if you fool he's not a changed man, then I'll take him. I don't know. I remember the last time that you tricked me. I almost offloaded that cannibal. That was a close one. You twist everything, you bastard. Incidentally. You do know that you're not supposed to take the Bible seriously. You need a better what? editor. What happened? Never you mind. A year ago, a cannibal was following the Bible, doing God's work for him. He was a vigilante cannibal. Claiming. He was claiming. You know in the Bible, the idea of the bread being Jesus' body and the wine representing his blood? Yeah. Well, Thomas, the cannibal, he took that literally with a few verses from the Bible. Like? There's a verse called to kill by Jeremiah 48.10 and another verse about cannibalism by Ezekiel and Leviticus. Wow. That's what made Tom do the things he did. All lies. That's why he did not get in. The Bible's my kind of Bible. Really? Really. It's full of evil quotes, subtly lurking behind good deeds, sprinkled throughout. Again? Really? Rick, don't listen to him. He's got a twisted take on everything. What, what else is in the Bible? There's verses on rape, eating human fecal matter, incest, slaves, beating your own children, etc, etc. Rick, you do know you're not supposed to believe the devil. Don't you? Your God has even admitted to doing evil, as quoted by Jeremiah 42, 9-10. And I quote, I regret the evil I have done. And they say I'm evil. Wait till I get my book published. <laughs> the prick! You can't find a publisher stupid enough to take it. <laughs> it sounds like my loophole. You're clutching at straws. I was misquoted. How about that deal? I keep it for six months. Don't like it. Or I could just get my lawyers to enforce the deal. Fucking lawyers! You are kidding me. Or you don't take him, and I won't take him. I'll make him human. Give him all the loopholes. Then he can tell everyone. You wouldn't. I would. You would. You really know how to. Adolf, ring my lawyers. Wait. Wait. I can't see. My lawyers would only say that I was infringing his rights.
Deu? Deu. Trainees! Congratulations! Since you're going to be joining us in heaven for at least six months, I have only one request you will adhere to. Don't speak. 